We're less than a week away from what would likely have been called Made by Google 2020, or what is now Launch Night In as Google is calling it. For Pixel fans everywhere, excitement is building for the event, where Google is expected to unveil its latest flagship smartphone, the Pixel 5, but what else can we expect? Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. As has been the case every year previously, Google is set to show off far more than just a smartphone or smartphones. Google itself has flat out confirmed that it will unveil the latest Pixel phones, its latest smart speaker, and a new Chromecast. Could we see some interesting additions though? We're not exactly sure, but we're still very excited to see some of this hardware in the flesh. So let's start off with some things definitely coming at the Pixel 5 launch event. Google's flagship smartphone is the most obvious announcement lined up for the September 30th launch night in event. We think we already know a solid amount about the upcoming smartphone, but in reality, the hands-on leaks this time around have been few and far between compared to previous years. That said, there still have been plenty. As we have discussed over the past few weeks, those wanting a proper out-and-out -out flagship may leave bitterly disappointed this year. The Google Pixel 5 is set to come with an upper mid-range chipset and relatively modest internals compared to the competition. So here's a quick lowdown on what the Pixel 5 will be packing. It will come with a 5.8 inch 90Hz display, Full HD Plus at 332ppi, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and a 4000mAh battery with standard and reverse wireless charging. There'll also be a rear fingerprint scanner at the rear and we'll see a dual camera setup too. For the first time on a Pixel device, the Pixel 5 will launch with an ultra-wide 107 degree field of view rear camera alongside a main wide lens. That front facing selfie camera will be hidden within an upper left punch hole notch. We'd expect it to be in the 8 megapixel flavor. It will also likely come with some sort of Pixel visual core chip. It will ship with Android 11 and comes with the standard 3 years of OS support. Recent leaks have the European pricing set at €629 Euros for the Pixel 5, which is around $740 when exchange rates are factored in, although we do expect that to be lower in dollars. The same retail listings have also hinted that we'll see the Pixel 5 in green and black. Because there is no XL version of the Pixel 5 set to launch alongside the smaller version at this launch night in event, it's a strange year for the Pixel because this larger model is, in fact, part of the Pixel 4a line. That means this other smartphone, the Pixel 4a 5G, will come with a lower price tag, but for some reason it will have a familiar spec sheet to the more premium Pixel 5. The 5G enabled Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset is an important inclusion as it provides 5G connectivity without that associated price premium. The Pixel 4a 5G will come with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage alongside a 3800mAh battery. The 6.2 inch display on the Pixel 4a 5G is likely to have a 60Hz refresh rate while we'd imagine it will also be capped at Full HD Plus rather than a high refresh rate Full HD Plus panel. It may also have a slightly larger bezels but the edge to edge display will at least match that of the Pixel 4a. It too will include a rear fingerprint scanner and the same dual camera setup as on the likely more expensive Pixel 5. So unlike the Pixel 4a, the Pixel 4a 5G will prove to be quite a step up over its affordable stablemate. Like the Pixel 5, the 4a 5G will ship with Android 11 and undoubtedly come with 3 years of OS upgrades, getting it up to Android 14. It will come in two pretty basic colours, black and white. Pricing is set to be competitive at a confirmed $499. This should make the Pixel 4a 5G a really compelling option for many of you out there. So while that's the phones out of the way, another product definitely coming at the Pixel 5 event is a new generation Google Nest speaker. This is more of a follow up to the original Google Home speaker with hints of the Google Home Max design and functions. Of course, Google's previously announced rebranding efforts means that this next speaker will carry the Nest branding. It's a familiar design that was even teased by Google themselves. Imagine a smaller, slightly more bubbly version of the Home Max. Instead of being placed in landscape orientation, the new Nest speaker is designed to be placed in portrait orientation, while the bottom right cover is home to the power plug and white cable, which should be removable. Everything is covered by a fabric covering, and as we see today, a very standard charcoal or dark grey and chalk light grey option will be available. 
Other colors we're expecting include a pink or sand that is like the Pixelbook Go and a light blue option. We'd expect some audio upgrades over the original Google Home speaker on the Nest speaker, which might be pretty obvious. However, we really don't know how the new Nest speaker will sound until we get hands on with one in the coming weeks and months. As for pricing, we expect it to be around that $100 mark, although there is no indication of how much this will cost at retail. On top of the Nest speaker, there will be a true follow up to the Chromecast Ultra, which is codenamed Sabrina and will finally include a remote that isn't your smartphone. While we love the Chromecast and its current control scheme, it is a thoroughly basic streaming device that maybe isn't quite as intuitive to some people as it really doesn't have any interface of note. We saw a refresh to the original Chromecast back in 2018 with a slightly updated bubbly design and true 1080p 60fps video playback support. Since then nothing has really changed in the Chromecast lineup though, save the discontinuation of the Chromecast audio. Beyond the Pixel 5 and the 4a 5G, this new Chromecast is arguably the most anticipated device launching during the 2020 launch night in event. We've been crying out for a real competitor to the Amazon Fire TV stick and even the more modest Roku TV dongle. By integrating Android TV and packing in that remote, it will likely be enough to give this new Chromecast wider appeal in the market. On top of that, the pricing looks to be very, very competitive. Leaked retail listings have the price of the Android TV powered Chromecast at between $50 and $60, which feels like an absolute steal even though we haven't tried this. This might end up being the sleeper hit of the entire Pixel 5 launch event as a result of that low pricing. So we have all of the definite launch announcements, but there are also a few things possibly or maybe coming at the Pixel 5 event, the most notable being a cheap Nest Wi-Fi. If you cast your mind back to last year, Google took mesh Wi-Fi networks to the next level by having access points that double as tiny Google Assistant speakers. This did mean a price premium for the Wi-Fi routers and connection points, possibly to help give the Nest Wi-Fi ecosystem a more affordable entry point. We have found evidence though that suggests Google may be releasing some $99 Nest Wi-Fi hardware later this year. While this might not mean we'll see this device during the Pixel 5 launch event, we can't explicitly rule out a mention for this upcoming Wi-Fi hardware product. It might even get a brief mention with a release date further into the future. On top of that, the only very, very highly unlikely announcements include the always anticipated Google Pixel Watch. It's one product that we can say almost certainly won't be making an appearance for another year at the Pixel 5 launch event. Is Google actively working on smartwatches? While the drawn out acquisition of Fitbit does hint that we'll see some Google branded wearables in the future, has Google intended to launch a first party smartwatch before? Well, definitely. Has there ever been a Pixel watch? Well, not yet. Will this be the year that Google finally decides to take on the Apple watch head first? Well, we're pretty sure it won't be. So how will the Pixel 5 launch event take place? Well, 2020 has proven to be a difficult year due to the spread of COVID-19 as official launch events, conventions and keynotes have been cancelled. This has given way to online only premieres of the biggest products though. The Pixel 5 launch is set to be an online only affair with a live stream taking place for fans on September 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. British summer time and 8 p.m. Central European summer time. On top of that, you'll definitely want to stay tuned for more information. We're under a week away from the official announcement of all of the expected products at launch 19. Do you have any predictions of your own though? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.